Hey guys, it's Kai. Today's Halloween tutorial is this golden Egyptian cat goddess. I was inspired by a lot of the cats from ancient Egyptian iconography. Their society back then viewed cats as sacred. One of their goddesses, Bastet, was a cat-headed woman, so I was kind of inspired by that. And I decked myself out in gold to symbolize, you know, how statues and gods become immortalized in gold. Anyway, if you want to see how I did this look, just keep on watching. As promised, I'm going to be using the face cast I made in my last video. If you haven't seen it, you can go check it out. But I went out and got myself some air drying modeling clay, and I'm going to start sculpting a cat nose on my face. So we just put um, kind of a big ball on my nose and started shaping that into a little cat nose. I recommend getting a flat edge tool like a spatula or like a popsicle stick to flatten out all of these edges so they blend into your skin. That's the most important part about prosthetics. As for the clay, there's specific clays out there that are made for sculpting prosthetics like this that don't um, air dry. The air drying aspect of it, I didn't really like because once it fully hardened, it did take a few days by the way, but once it was fully hardened, it was hard to take off. So um, that was the only caveat to using this, but um, I'd say once you're finished with your prosthetic makeup, take off the air drying clay before it fully hardens because it takes a couple days anyway. Anyway, I was inspired by the shot of Tayana Taylor in Kanye West's music video. Someone like a long time ago said I should do a look like this, but I wanted to create a kind of similar mouth nose piece, so I started shaping that ball into those like two little fat pockets that I don't know the name of by kind of creating like a Y shape with my tool. So I kind of used my nails, my popsicle stick, and my fingers all to create the shapes, create the lines, and then smooth them out so that everything was um, really nice and blended and there weren't any harsh lines. Once you're happy with how it looks, you're going to pour yourself some liquid latex and start stippling this onto the prosthetic with a sponge. And this latex layer is what we're going to peel off and put on our skin so you have um, something that builds up thickness by letting it dry and doing multiple layers of this. I'd say to do at least four or six so you have enough thickness. You want most of that thickness in the center of this and not as much on the edges. The reason why is because the edges should be thin because that needs to blend into your face. So in stippling layer after layer, try to focus mainly on the center. And you can blow dry it in between to speed it up, but um, too much work for me. I find it's just better to leave, wait an hour or two, and then come back and stipple a little bit more. After I waited overnight for this to dry, I powdered it with some loose powder. You can also use baby powder or like baking flour. Works just the same. We want to peel it off carefully and powder it so that it doesn't stick to itself. That's the only reason. Um, and this is what it should look like once it comes off. Since it is so big, it won't sit flat on my face and there'll be that big air bubble. And I don't want it to just be able to flop around, so I filled the inside of this with a little more latex and cotton. Just putting that latex in there and then cotton and then more latex, letting that dry for another night or at least a few hours. If you put this right up to your nose now, you'd probably instantly die from the fumes. Um, I'm just kidding, don't take advice from me. Wet latex really does smell bad though, so give it a lot of time to dry. And now it's time for the application. I'm gluing down my brows as usual. And then to apply a prosthetic that we made, I'm going to use spirit gum, which is an SFX adhesive. I laid down a little bit around my nose area and then I just waited a bit for it to get sticky and I stuck her right on there. Now this does cover the nose so you can't breathe out of your nose anymore. If you wanted, you could poke little holes in it so you could breathe through your nose, but I didn't really mind being a mouth breather for the night. What you see me doing here is I'm trying to blend those edges into the skin using some more spirit gum and a little bit of alcohol. I had a really hard time with this. I wish I made those edges a little bit flatter when I stippled with latex, but I figured that the glitter would kind of camouflage this edge so I didn't bother starting over. But once your prosthetic is all glued on, you can continue with doing the rest of your makeup as usual. I use this Makeup Forever Cream Stick in gold as my base. I'm pretty sure this is the same formulation as the gold from the flash palette, just in stick form, which I mean is useful if you only want a specific color from the flash palette, you can just get it in the stick form and save yourself some money. But if you don't have a shiny gold cream paint, you can also just use gold eyeshadow pigment mixed with some glycerin or like a mixing medium. And this is just gonna act as our base for the glitter later on. Before I go in with the glitter, I'm gonna do all of the black detailing with liquid liner and I created that really graphic cut crease wing eyeliner. I actually found it useful to also use a little bit of black water-based face paint on a really fine brush. 
I found that the liquid liner pen is hard to use on the base since it just blends in with the gold and I didn't set that gold with powder so there's a little bit of moisture there and like if I put enough pressure for the black liner to show up the felt tip almost wipes away some of that gold but I found that with the brush and the black water paints I was able to draw those fine lines with a lot less pressure. So for the brows, I kept them kind of straight. I didn't want to do the arch down. I wanted to keep it um, kind of avant-garde and a little bit fashion. And then under the eyes, I created some graphic lines inspired by some pictures of makeup in ancient Egypt, but also because I just thought it looked pretty. And then I'm going to accentuate some of those lines on the nose using some black. It's hard to see the shape of this prosthetic when everything is kind of covered in gold. So these black lines will really help bring out that cat nose shape. The next step is to cover our face in glitter, and I'm using this gold glitter from MAC. It's my favorite shade of gold. You know, whenever I do a glitter face look, I'm always asked how I keep it on, and I actually don't use any type of glitter adhesive. I just lay down that shiny cream base and pat it over top of that, kind of going around all of those black lines here, but that cream base of the gold cream stick has enough moisture to make the glitter stick on. I find that using adhesive is just overkill for me. I'll only use glitter adhesive if I'm doing glitter eyeshadow. Otherwise, the face is so big that it's okay if some glitter starts falling off since that base is going to disguise most of the bald spots and you won't really notice. If I'm going out, I'll sometimes use hairspray as my setting spray, which is a really ratchet trick I'm not proud of, but I never have any problems with the glitter staying on. I did have to use a NYX glitter primer on the nose though, since this part isn't your skin, it doesn't have the moisture to keep the glitter on and it's going to need that adhesive. Now the reason I drew those black lines before the glitter is because it can be hard to paint nice lines over top of a textured surface of glitter, but I went in with more black face paint afterwards anyway since the glitter kind of overlapped some of the black and I just want it to be really bold. I'm going in with some white eyeliner now. This is just Ben Nye's Clown White in the eyes. When doing this, just make sure there's no cross-contamination of glitter on that brush since you don't want to get glitter this close to your eye. And then I'm going to paint my exposed neck and chest the same exact way, starting with that shiny cream gold base and going over it with more glitter. The final step now is just to use mascara and lashes and some white mesh contacts to heighten that mystical goddess fantasy. And then I'm going to put on my black wig, my cat ears, and then eject myself out in some gold jewelry. And you guys, that's the finished look. I love how it turned out. I hope you all liked it as much as I did. Be sure to leave a comment and a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!